Well, after a few games, we've actually started quite well in League One, and it's looking positive. It's early days, it's early days, but roll the intro and let's see how we get on. No, I won't stop. And welcome back to the folks in Evicta Save. I am Cultured Left Foot. And yes, we have won two games in the league, drawn one, and lost in the EFL Cup to Championship Millwall, where they scored two in the last five minutes. So I'm taking that as a win, a moral win, really. We didn't have to do anything in the League Cup. So not a problem. 4 2, we're out of that. We can focus on the league. But after the 2 2 draw with Coventry, back to back league wins. 2 0 against Wickham at home. Stansfield and Clampin from left wing back getting the goals. Stansfield starting the season off very well indeed. Colchester, 4 1 away from home. We beat them. Goals for Humphreys, Prado, and a brace for Tony Weston on his debut. This boy, I, I'm holding up high hopes. Two goals in one game, 8.8. .8. I am holding up high hopes for him. It started really well. We're back for the game against the two Ps, Plymouth and Port Vale, which should be a very, very interesting. Now, obviously, we've come up to League One as the champions of League Two, which is something I'm very, very proud of, to be honest. I think we did, did it very well. No, we didn't. Why did I think we got promoted? Why did I think we were the champions? What a ridiculous thing to think. We will definitely went Port Vale were and we're playing. That's why I've picked these two games because we came up with them. Why did I think? Why did? Why? What is wrong with me? When were we last? When were we last champions of a division? When were we? When? 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 when, when there, Vanarama National. That's when we beat Crew, and then. Yeah, I, I'm losing. I'm losing them. I've played too much Football Manager. I think. I think I. Oh, bloody hell! Right, let's um get into the tactics and the squad. We're still playing the the, the five three two. It uh, seems to be working quite well. Yeah, I mean we, uh, we've got a lot of options in the squad. Oh, uh, transfers, transfers. We've brought uh, a couple of new players in. We've brought in uh, one new player. I said a couple. One, one of them, one of them moved to. Uh, order shot or something like that which is really annoying but will ready has joined us on loan from derby derby and uh, yeah, he looks pretty good to be honest already current ability good potential ability is pretty decent some good stats he's basically better than ibsen rossi so he's joined the team 130 pound a week not complaining everton and derby is current club one appearance 7.60 so good happy yeah, I mean, potentially on the incomings, we have Robbie Ashby from Aston Villa, who we're also looking to bring to give us a bit more depth at centre-back as well, so hopefully we'll get that all confirmed. But this game, fitness is a bit of an issue. Uh, Reddy is going to come out, I think. Was I going to start someone else over Reddy? Let's see what Ross thinks. Ross, you think we should play everybody that's unfit. Unfortunately, I'm not going to agree with you. In that, um, oh, Boateng's going to have to come in at left wing back for Clamping because Zeki Fries is also unfit. Reddy's going to come off and be replaced ugh, by Ibsen Rossi, but we're not going to put Rossi in the middle. We'll put a Kocha in there. Although a Kocha's knackered as well, so Warkway is going to have to come into that role that he's not all too familiar with, but he can play it. He played there a bit last year. We're going to stick with Weston and Prado up front. Jan Dander will come back into attacking midfield. Harris is going to get a rest, and Lapsil will come in to start for him. And I think that's how we're going to go. Now I've just got to sort out the bench. So we'll put uh, MTC, I think. No, Eric and Angus down the bench. We'll put Friars on the bench, but I don't really want to bring him on. Turner, Friars, Harris, Stansfield, Humphreys, Allison Jr. Uh, let's put... <sighs> no, I can keep a Nan and Stansfield on there. That's fine. Sort of do want Woodward on there, but he's just not fit enough. Let's go for that then. Let's go for that. We'll hand over. We'll get uh, Ross to do that stuff. And Plymouth Argyle struggling down in 20th and Port Vale in 16th. So the other two teams coming up with us who both finished above us because we weren't champions. Um, I honestly don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, we're, we're, we're going to try and go there and get a result. Or they're going to come to us and get a result. And then we're going to go to Vale and get a result. And that's the plan. So a South... South Coast Derby, can you say Plymouth is a South Coast Derby? I mean, at the moment, the annoying thing is we're never going to have a Derby game because we've overtaken... Have we overtaken Gilly? I, I think I would look these things up before we started. Uh, Margate and Dover are rivals, and Margate uh, are down in the Eastern Premier Division, and Dover Athletic are in the National League. So we have played Margate, I guess, so we've had a... 
a couple of uh, derbies somewhere. We'll be back for, for kickoff in the Plymouth game, though. See you then. Okay, so here we are on the game day then. Uakwe, Ibsen, Rossi and Luca Coco is an incredibly weak back three, but hopefully works. Tyler Reed and Boateng at wing back. Lapsil, Frey, Yandanda, Weston and Prado start up front. They have Calante and Plange up front. Let's have a look. Plange looks pretty good. 21-year-old youngster got from Arsenal. And Calante, 21-year-old again. He looks very good. Signed on a free transfer from Birmingham. Who, and he played for them in the championship, expecting big things from him then, I imagine. They're playing also a 3-5-2 formation, slightly different. Johnson, Stubbs, Pollock at the back, Cox, Davies, Aziz, Morris, Ad, Adenary, Ad, I shouldn't be struggling with that. Adeniran, 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 Adeniran. Something like that. Cooper and goal. We'll struggle with that name when he gets on the ball, which hopefully won't be very, very often. Uh, passionately, we're at home. We're at home. Let's go and carry on. Just carry. We played really well. It's a different, different squad, but I'm sure they still want to carry on from where the old squad played. So we we'll asked Ross to let them know who should be kicked and all that stuff. And uh, here we go. Then underway. Can we keep this going? We start. We're not going to start cautious now. Let's at least start balanced because we're at home and we're better than them in the league apparently. So it's an unbelievable start to be honest to the season up into four third and the playoffs already are oh, good save from Glaciak in the in the early stages you know you've got to keep real here and say it's still early there's no there's no pressure on us to keep this up through the whole season as he asks as he demands more of his players but I mean we've got some we haven't had the toughest of starts put it that way I think you know when we play the likes of Sunderland and AFC Wimbledon and people like that I think that's going to be very tough but obviously we've got to beat the teams that are expected to finish in and around us at the bottom as well as Frey picks up the ball near the edge Reed in on goal into the area shoots and Cooper makes the save and it's touched behind for a corner as that Sunderland go one and up a Bolton as well two ex Premier League teams in this division now uh, Ibsen Rossi he can't get his height on it at the back post Boateng keeps the ball alive it's blocked and we'll get a throw in in Plymouth territory but it won't really come to anything so it, it would it would be beneficial to I agree Ross it would be beneficial to play a walkway in a more familiar position but unfortunately we can't because needs must and uh, we need we need new centre backs or more centre backs as a must that's terrible I don't know what I was thinking but uh, well, well time is ticking down that's the five minute warning of the half um, famous in League One that a mobile phone ding is the five minute warning I think we should try to encourage the team um, let's go assertively I'm risking it I'm not happy okay Jan Dander seems a little bit pissed but that's fine he'll get over it uh, he'll probably get over it as I tell him that I believe he's got what it takes there you go he did but I think that's right. I think yeah. I think you know these these came up with us. We we've got enough about us to beat them. Let's go positive. Let's get in their faces, in your face. Create get creative. All that jazz. Coxie is there. I'm sure it's just Cox, but you put an e on the end of Cox and it's Coxie. So I mean I've just I've literally just proved that point myself with that English there. Planned back to Cox. In it goes. Everybody misses it and Reed gets there to boot it out for a throw in, not taking any risks. That is fine with me. Um, we're struggling to get Yandanda into it. Both wing backs are struggling as well. And that's not what you want to see because we don't really have anyone that can do that. Well, Boateng's going to call for a Nan, which is a strange substitution. I understand that. But needs must again. And we'll go. Oh, I've got Zeki for 84% though. Do I want to bring one? No, we'll give Eric a Nan a go. And if it doesn't work, we'll move a Nan out front and then bring Zeki Fries on at left back. But. Um, Again, Anan played a couple of times for me in that position. He can play left wing, so it's not too different. Luca Coco all the way across the box over to Reed on the right hand side. He's into the box again, crosses block. Frey shoots past the post. Very unlucky from Rock Frey. One of our standout players from last year in uh, in League Two. Did very well. I think we're gonna have to make a striker change in a minute because the strikers aren't getting into the game. Anan. Adanarian. Aziz, Adanarian. I mean, I've so made that name up. I've made it so much more flamboyant than it needs to be. Davis beats his man really easily for Plymouth. He shoots, it's blocked, and uh, we should get there. I mean, if it's free, we got a free kick. I thought he'd just put that off for a very cheap corner. That's the five-minute warning again. It's 40 because there's 20 minutes to go. Um, if you can't hear that phone going off, that is going to make no sense whatsoever. Uh, let's get Stansfield on for... Oh, well, they're both playing as badly as each other. He prefers advance forward, so let's get him on for Weston. 
in that role. Hapsil not playing well as a 6.4. Tyler Reed on a 6.4. I think we take a little bit of pressure off then and we won't go positive. Let's go back to balance and see if that just eases the pressure of us trying to get it forward. Uarque from the Libero row. Ball in. It's cleared away sort of. Rossi shoots. Oh, it would be dream world for him if he got a goal. Plange looked to came away quite quickly but couldn't get anything on it. As uh, Yeah, it's not it's not the best of performances. Ten minutes to go. Eric and Nan throw one two, gets it back. Works his way into the box. Eric and Nan tapped over by Cooper. A good save from the Plymouth Argyle goalkeeper with ten just over ten minutes to go, about eleven minutes to go. And Frey puts the corner in, looking at the back post. And Nan will keep it alive. Playing in that unfamiliar left wing back role. Luca Coco, is he gonna have a shot? He is Lapsil, plays it back around, keeping it alive. Harris back out to Eric and Nan. Eric and Nan looks to try and beat his man, gets tackled, but wins another corner. We're doing all right. I mean, it's been a pretty poor game. Only three half chances between the two teams. There's nothing to write home about. Rourke Frey, ball in. Ibsen Rossi. Good save from Cooper. He does still bring that height. That height was so good. Him and Agabatoma from corners in, uh, I think it was the Vanarama National, were in, probably National League South because that's when we sold Rossi after that season. Incredible goal scoring from the corners. Telford block shot. Lapsil is there. He was, uh, well, someone was offside, I think, is, is the outcome of that. Didn't really see what happened, but... Again, yeah, not the best of games. If we can nick something at the end, I'd be delighted. Ibsen Rossi, I think it's a, more a thing of neither team sort of wants to lose because we're predicted to be in and around each other at the end of the season. But obviously, we've had a good start and Plymouth hasn't. Luca Coco, Uarque, back to Glasiak. He goes long to Frey into Harris. We're working this really well. Out to Reed on the right-hand side. Frey, good ball through. Jay Stansfield, he's through one-on-one. -on -one. Stansfield, what a tackle from Stubbs. Puts it behind for a corner. We worked that well, but couldn't just get on the end of it. And Stansfield couldn't put it away. Frey, in it goes. Looking for Rossi again. Stansfield brings it down, and he's tackled. It's cleared by Randall. That might just be the end of the game. Maybe that last chance for Stansfield should have gone in. But Randall is there. Out to Coxie. Coxie back to Randall. Randall holds up the ball into Sheehan. To lose a goal now would be an absolute nightmare. Aziz into Plange. Telford. Telford shoots from range. It's blocked. Davis picks it up. Reed with a fantastic tackle to stop that attack. And that Davis picks it up again. Aziz. Aziz out to Sheehan. Sheehan back to Stubbs. Into Aziz again. Aziz to Sheehan. They're moving it around nicely here, Plymouth, in the last few 30 seconds. Sheehan out to Coxie on the right hand side. Full time whistle. The referee doesn't let them put the cross in. Nil nil. Not bad. I still think just points on the board at this stage are very, very useful. And uh, it still keeps us up in fifth, which is a great start to the season. Uh, struggling for Plymouth, though, because they've now played an extra game over most and uh, aren't doing very well with it. So we hold Plymouth to a draw. I guess they did have more shots and more possession, so I can't really argue. But yeah, next up, uh, Port Vale, which will be interesting because, well, we only get three days rest and my team aren't very good at relaxing and taking time off so we're going to force them to take a day off from training we'll be back for that next game catch you in a bit so here we are then back for the game against port vale away from home they've got a lot of new gens in the team cook burns sullivan lauren zetti and thompson in goal who uh, doesn't look too bad on loan from west ham actually not doing too bad uh, we have a bit of change in our team glaciak is still in goal ready humphreys and akotcha come into the back three woodward and clampin start as the wing backs harris allison jr and denanda the midfield three stansfield starts up front with Pilado for this game and we welcome ashby who's joined us on loan for aston villa worth 725k so he's obviously got maybe a good future in front of him they paid reasonably big money for uh, an 18 year old from coventry but yeah, good physicals, mentals. I'm sure it won't be long until we see him starting in the first team. But let's get into the dressing room then and, and go and do our team talk. Um, we're away from home against Port Vale. We probably should be winning or at least having a good challenge. We owe them. We owe them after our last game. That's fired everybody up. Let's uh, just get Ross to tell them to kick people. That's always fun. As the game gets underway, and Clampin has it straight away on the left-hand side. We're starting cautious in this one again. Just to see what we can do. And I think, well, again, Port Vale not starting brilliantly down there. Maybe we go balanced and see how we play from balance. As Woodward has a throw into Allison Jr. Brilliant. What a highlight. What a highlight. Thank you, Football Manager, for that one. Absolutely incredible. We'll, uh, obviously, you'll get the five-minute warning when the phone goes off. So let's see if it's fixed for that one. As uh, <laughs> It's actually my work phone. So I should, probably shouldn't be joking about it. But... 
Um, if anyone from work is watching, today is a Saturday, so don't. I'm, I'm not on the clock. Uh, Clampin goes long. Stansfield brings the ball down. Stansfield on the right hand side. Lots of well, all right. Lorenzetti, fine. I was going to say he's got lots of work to do, and then Lorenzetti was just like, Dad, he hasn't got any work to do. I'm just going to kick it out for a throw. Cook, Larkin, ball in. Humphreys heads it away. Humphreys has grown in this last season into that libero role really, really well. Ready, comes forward with it over the top, looking for Stansfield. Stansfield. Holds it up, not many too many options, so he passes it to Burns, who's not on his team. Uh, but Reddy's done really well there. Denanda, Yandanda, into Harris. Good ball out to Clampin on the left-hand side, who's picked up an early yellow card, but puts a ball in. Stansfield's there, and he gets his fifth goal of the season, and puts us 1-0 up against Vale, which is one... Look at that, up into third. What ridiculousnessness have we got here. Um, so Johan Terhorst is still here, by the way. He doesn't get much bench or game time anymore, but he's... Still here. Uh, Stansfield with a lovely header from that cross from Clampin. But down the other end, Cook hits a free kick into the wall. Gets another go. No, he doesn't. Woodward's robbed him. We've got a chance for a counter. Woodward. I mean, he definitely should have passed that ball earlier to Stansfield. Burns gets back, makes the tackle, and Woodward will be ruining the choices he made during those 30 seconds. Ball in. A oh, He's bouncing around, and it's cleared away. I mean, that was just noises, and then I just said bouncing around. So make of that what you will. Uh, shouts going in. It will go great creative. Again, not too many chances actually being created in the game, but I don't mind because we are 1 0 up, which is good. Oh, Woodward. Woodward. What are you playing at, boy? Might have to move Ready out into right wing back because I don't think we've got any other options that we could play there, to be honest. Um, we'll see. 6 one, 8. What is it? A knee injury. You don't really want to risk, and risk a knee injury. But if I take you off and all it is is bruised, I am going to be annoyed. Passionate. Uh, things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. 1 0 up away from home. Going well. Woodward. This guy's going to have to come off, isn't he? He's going to have to come off. Uh, we're going to put. Uh, I'm going to put Frey out there. It's just it's a knee. 68% is so low as well. I don't want it to get worse. Prado's not playing well, neither is Yandanda. But we'll keep it as is for now, and we'll just tell them to go and get creative. Day Summer goes up towards Cook, who flicks the header onto nobody, and uh, Reddy gets there. And that's a oh, wow, what a terrible pass that was. Reddy, nine point, uh, six point, a 9.8 rating, that's a lie. 6.8 rating, doing well, Reddy. Let's get uh, Frey into the game if we can. No, we go long to Stansfield, that's a good ball. Stansfield, Allison Jr., out to Frey now. Now, Frey has got good technical stats, so he should be okay technically. It's the defending-wise I'm worried about. Harris, clamping on the left. Already got one assist today, setting up Stansfield. Puts another ball in, looking for Prado. It's cleared away. Allison Jr. Gets squares in Prado! I said he wasn't playing well, but he stepped up in the second half. Five minutes, four minutes into it. And Prado gets his second goal of the season. The young gentleman on loan from Real Madrid. Looking to be a bit of an astute loan signing there. The cross was floated in towards him. Junior kept it alive. I thought a shot. He sort of dummied the shot, fooled the goalkeeper, squared it to Prado, and it's 2-0. And this is a very good performance and result at the moment. Yandanda still not doing brilliantly on a 6.6, .6, but he's taking this corner, swings it in. Nobody ran to the back post. Brilliant. That's where most of our corners always go. Agu comes forward. Or well, Agho comes forward. Harris, yes, lad. What a tackle. Hoofs it away to buy us some time to get back into our shape. Dice Summer to Robbins. Robbins on the ball into Sullivan. Sullivan's got runners going down the line, but Clampin reads it really well into Akotcha. Up towards Prado. Prado flicks it infield to Stansfield with a great header. Stansfield. Denanda robbed by Robbins. And he's released. Agho. Agho's in behind. And he scores. Everyone just sort of stopped playing. It has counted. A lot of people just apparently stood still. Dando was robbed there by Robbins really well. Over the top. I mean, they're chasing back. Oh, he tried to tackle. Okay, in the 2D, it looked like he... I mean, it looked like he actually tried to just bring him down. But we might take uh, Jan Dander off in a minute. Stansfield, back to Frey. Frey puts a ball into Smith. Oh, well, to nobody. But Smith heads it away. Jan Dander's there. Good ball out to Clamping on the left. Clamping, can he put it across goal? He does. It's headed away. Allison Jr. Frey. Still on the ball. Into Harris. Back to Allison Jr. Back to Harris. Back to Jr. Back to Harris. Into Reddy. Reddy. Good ball out to the left-hand side to Clamping again. Clamping with a bit of time and space. Try to put a cross in, but the ball falls to Harris. Into a cotcher. Mo moving it around really well. Clamping. Have the acceleration. Go on. Burst away from him. Harris. Back to Clamping. Clamping now tries to beat him. Holds the ball up. Puts a cross in. Frey's there. Stansfield. Oh, the shot was blocked. Harris. 
Into Allison Jr. Back to Harris. Harris to Allison Jr. Back to Harris. Ball, oh, a lovely ball down the line to Stansfield. Keeps it in play. Not quite out for a goal kick. And that is the end of Jan Dander's game. On, oh, he's just gone up to a 6.8. It's not the end of Jan Dander's game. He, he was about to be subbed off and realised, so then upped his game. Uh, free kick. Uh, interesting position. A bit far out. Frey's over it. Hits it. Oh, Thompson, that was going so far wide. Absolutely no need to save that. But Thompson does touch it past the post. Uh, Jan Dander, ball in. Towards the bat. There's a header, and it was saved well. Ready with the header, and they've uh, launched it quickly. Looking for a counter. We'll just give him a bit more praise again. I don't really want to change anything while everyone's doing pretty well. It's always good as well to see two, two strikers scoring. Ready. Ready goes along looking for Palado. Knocks it down. Stansfield. Is Rob? No, Yandanda keeps it alive. He's got Frey making a good run and picks him out. Into Stansfield. Gets into the box. Shoots. Thompson touches it round the post. He went for that cheeky near post shot. And Thompson touches it past the post. We've created one, one click at a chance each. We've had two half chances. They've had one. Uh, Dander ball in a cotcha over the bar. 15, 14, 13-ish minutes to go. And 2-0 uh, up. We're looking... 2-1 oh, up. Sorry, not 2-0. 2-1 up. Uh, Clamping gets into the box. It's blocked. Barrett's there. And Barrett goes long. cotch has got time. Heads it down to Harris. Into Yandanda. Can he flick it on one more? He's put a wonderful ball through to Stansfield. Should have scored. Great save from Thompson. Yandanda. He's now making it tick in the middle of the park. And here he is over a corner. Yandanda ball in. Looking for Okocha again. Knocks it down. Clamping. Terrible shot. But Lorenzenti keeps it alive. And when you're talking quite quickly, it's incredibly hard to get names right, I'm realising. Four minutes to go. And I sort of want to make a sub, but I also sort of don't because we're playing well. Frey is tackled by Burns. Ago is sort of isolated up there. Why aren't you going to cover that? I'm a centre-back. I know that's what you do. Ball in. Robin shoots. Grassiak touches it over the bar. It's getting, it's getting tense now, isn't it? Cautious. And Grassiak saves it, catches it easily. Easy done. Nicely done. I do think fresh legs are... Needed, but oh my god, Okocha, Jesus Christ, just boots it behind the goal. Two minutes of injury time to go. Okocha wins that, and Harris flicks it on. Larkin is there. Conlon into Lorenzetti. Lorenzetti goes back to Larkin. Larkin over the top looking for Robbins, flicks it down. Agu's blown, and he got another chance at it, and it's gone over the bar. Let's make some time wasting substitutions. Harris off, Lapsil on, and Ready off, Ashby on. We'll bring him on for his debut at the moment. I mean, what a time to be making your debut. 2-1 up. Into injury time. Robbins with a throw. Agho back to Robbins. It's blocked and it's a corner. Now, technically, they shouldn't have enough time to take this because we're a minute overplayed. A minute and 16 seconds over. And Grassiak has touched it over the bar. I thought that was in. I thought that was in. Burns over the corner. Just keep an eye on that. We've played two minutes over, pretty much. Just blow the whistle, referee. Call it there. There we go. He does. We get three points again on the road. Lovely stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Passionately, a very nice victory. Very nice victory, boys. That is what we like to see up into fourth position. Keeping keeping pace with the early leaders as well, which is good. I am just want points on the boards so that we don't, don't end up down here. That's fine. Early points make survival more likely, which is good. Uh, points on the board is always the preference. I completely forgot to read um, your... F what did I say? If it's a bruised knee, I'm going to be thoroughly disappointed. He's bruised his knee. He's bruised his knee. That's all he's done. And he's to, he came up 68% with a bruised knee. Shut up. You pathetic man, Harry Woodward. If you're watching, Harry, I don't think you're pathetic in real life. And you've actually been very good for us every single division we've had you. Since we took you on loan and then signed you, you've been absolutely phenomenal. I'll let you off with a bruised knee. Just this once, though. Don't do it again. All right? Don't do it again. A bruised bloody knee. So, we get two wins against the double P's, Port Plymouth and Port Vale. We'll probably come back somewhere like Sunderland and Mansfield. Or oh, Bristol Rovers and Sunderland would be useful. I used to live in Bristol, so that'd be a good game to do. And I went and saw Bristol Rovers live a couple of times. And Sunderland are just a big team. So, it'd be good to go and play Sunderland, I think. Um, are they, and they're both in and around us at the moment. So, hopefully, that'll be a top-of-the-table double-header clash, which would be wonderful. We do have a long break, so we don't need to give... Uh, anybody rests anymore so seven days until we play Bolton but thank you so much for watching question of the day today where are we going to finish in League One that's the question if you got this far and you're going to answer my question it'd be wonderful if you uh, let me know when you, where do you think we're going to finish in League One today let me know in the comments below obviously it started very well five games in fourth position 
no losses. Three wins, two draws. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for watching. Please do go and check out some of the other stuff that's on the channel. The button above me will take you to a page where you can just press that subscribe button. You can also do it just below the video. And, uh, of course, any extra help towards Patreon or you want to get in the Discord and chat to other people that watch my videos and we chat general football, football manager, anything else that's happening on the channel as well, it's all in the description below. But thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.